What's up? It's your girl Kanaya from Big Bay Road TV, and you're tuning in to episode 43. What's up, you guys? Welcome to Baytober 2022. This is the first episode of our October series. If you're new, if you wasn't here last October, it was lit. So all October, we bake Halloween desserts just to celebrate Halloween, just to have a little fun with it, you know? So that's what we're doing. So welcome to Baketober. And for today's dessert, we will be making a spiderweb roll cake. We're gonna start off strong. We're gonna make this roll cake. Y'all already know it's Big Bay Roll TV, so it's only right. Get it? Big Bay Roll, roll cake. Yeah. So today we're gonna make a roll cake. So we're gonna make a vanilla cake with cookies and cream, buttercream inside the roll, and then we're gonna decorate it to look like a spider web. It's gonna be really, really cute. All right, so like I said, we're making a vanilla cake, and this is not just a regular vanilla cake because for roll cakes, they have to be more like a spongy texture so that they can be able to roll. And if you guys haven't seen my unicorn roll cake, make sure you go check it out. That was really, really cute. But that cake like was like more on the spongy side, so today's goal for this episode is to still make a spongy cake so we can roll it up but we're going to be doing it a little bit different just so that the taste and the texture can be better like for like taste wise instead of not just looks you know because the cake looked good but it didn't taste good it tastes like it was too spongy like it wasn't like a nice cakey texture that i know people would like to eat so that's today's goal but First things first, we're gonna start with six eggs. Yeah, I know that sounds like a lot, but like I said, the cake has to be able to roll, so this is gonna help the cake roll. So we're gonna start by cracking six eggs into our bowl and whisk it up, whisk, 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 until really fluffy. And then we're going to slowly add in our other ingredients, which is a half a cup of vegetable oil and one cup of water. And then of course, we have our vanilla cake batter. Comment down below if you guys are excited for Halloween. Like, Halloween, like, is always fun for me. But, like, this year, like, I'm, like, really excited. To be honest, I don't know why I'm this excited. I've been seeing, like, people decorate their house rooms. And, of course, y'all know I've been seeing the Halloween desserts on Instagram. So, I feel like that's what's really getting me excited for it we shall see what happens but yeah i'm really excited like i said i've been seeing like people decorate their house and room it just looks so cute i think i'm gonna decorate my room next year i'm kind of late well i'm not late actually i can still decorate it because like it just turned off too. but i don't know it just looks really nice. So we're adding our half a cup of oil and one cup of water. And we're gonna give that a slight mix and then we're gonna add our cake. Oh yeah, the oven is deep. We have it preheated for 350. All right. Now we have all of our wet ingredients in our bowl. It's time to add our dry ingredients. I really have some like lit, 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 lit desserts in my. So make sure you guys are tuning in, subscribe, have your notifications on so you can get notified every week. Last year we was lit, but this year we're coming 10 times harder, like 10 times harder, like 100 times harder. All right, so we have our cake mixture. And now what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna make sure all of the, Cake mix is mixed in. 
And we're gonna add like, not that much, probably just like a quarter of our cake batter into a bowl to color it black. So we're doing this for our spider web look. That we're gonna do. This is a Wilton 4 tip by them. It's like just a really small hole. And it's the perfect size to do our spider web, okay? Okay, hey, y'all, I'm kind of nervous, but we're going to start. Do a little dot so we know. Oh, okay. Don't laugh at me, guys. If it comes out looking terrible. And I'm doing this freehand. She had like a paper. But I can't do a paper because I'm not using parchment. This is freaking, so I'm trying my best. Oh, it's getting wiggly, but besides that, I think we're doing pretty good. Alright, now it's time to do the little web part. Oh. Yeah, this is the part that's going to get me. Alright, let me stop playing because when I feel like I'm having too much fun, that's why I go messing stuff up. So. Here is our spider web. I feel like it's not bad for a free hand. What do you guys think? I feel like it's not too bad for a free hand. So this is step one. Okay, okay, okay. And then now we're just gonna throw our white cake on top. Not throw, but we're just gonna throw it on. And we're going to try to make it as even as possible. So, time to throw this cake in the oven. I think this took for like 13 minutes. It doesn't take that long because it's kind of like thin. But let's double check. This recipe says 18 minutes. You know, we're going to put it in for 15 minutes and then we're going to check on it because you already know how I am. You definitely don't want to over bake a cake roll. So we're going to throw it in the oven on 350 for 15 minutes and I'll check back in with you guys when the cake is done. All right, y'all. So we let our cake cool on the side, completely cool for about 20 minutes. And now it's time to roll it up in our kitchen towel. So we have our towel powdered in powdered sugar, like covered in powdered sugar. And now we're going to move our cake onto the mat. So now we are going to put it in there and we're gonna roll it really tight so that we can have like a nice roll. So we're gonna roll the towel. Really 
and boom, Big Bad Road TV. All right, so now we're gonna set this aside and let it cool. I'm thinking about putting it in the refrigerator. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. So like it could cool completely be firm in its row. So let's put it in the refrigerator. Okay, moving on to our cookies and cream buttercream. We're gonna start by putting 10 Oreos into a blender. Get them to a powder consistency. So we have our powdered Oreos. All right, so right now I'm currently mixing in my last portion of powdered sugar with the butter. And as you guys can see, I'm mixing it with my hand. I'm using my spatula to make my buttercream today and I won't say this is the part of baking that you guys don't see because I on my channel I show you guys like whatever I'm doing how I'm doing it and every step of it but it's just like right now everyone uses a mixer to make their buttercream I use a mixer to make my buttercream as well but right now my mixer isn't working for some reason and I don't know why but i'm still managing to do it with my hands so this goes to show that you can still bake whatever i'm baking make whatever i'm making buttercream all types of things with your hands even if you don't have the same equipment at home as i do like yeah it's taking me a longer time to make the buttercream but i'm still making sure i'm getting a smooth consistency and at the end of the day, it's still going to be buttercream, you know? And it's still going to come out the same. It's just going to take a longer time. Like, it would probably only took me 15 minutes to make. Not even. I don't know, to be honest. But 15 minutes at the most to make this buttercream. But instead, it's taking me like 45 minutes to make the buttercream because I'm using my hand. But I'm still going to have a smooth consistency because... I'm making sure all of my ingredients are being mixed in properly and I'm putting in the work to do it you know so I'm here to say your progress is not going to be the same as everybody else's progress no matter what it comes to baking school your career a business that you want to start like slow progress is always the best progress because I feel like you learn more like me as i'm mixing this i just learned that i have a more thick consistency of buttercream of how i want it to make how i wanted to learn to make my buttercream when i'm doing it by hand because i'm guessing that when i use a mixer i over mix so i'm not gonna say i'm gonna stop using my mixer because guess what like like i said it's a faster process and sometimes you need that faster process but now i know for next time okay I need to be watching my buttercream more when it's being mixed right so that I can have the thick consistency that I'm looking for like look at this consistency right here and usually my buttercream isn't this consistency but when I went to my baking class with my mom if you guys haven't seen it I post it on my Instagram go check it out but his like the um, teachers buttercream was like way thicker and I was like, Mom, his buttercream is so thick. I wonder what he did to make it like this and stuff. And now I just learned how to make it like this. And I went to that class a few months ago. I went to that class during the summer. So, like, progress is not always going to be the same as... Your progress is not always going to be the same as someone else's progress. Just trust the process and do what you have to do to get it done. I just wanted to come on here and say that really quick because I took three different clips of me starting over trying to tell you guys what I'm doing with the buttercream trying to tell you guys that all right I'm gonna start mixing the butter and the sugar together but guess what since I turned on the camera my mixer stopped working and I tried using my hand mixer and it wasn't working either and then I put it on here and I'm like hmm I don't know if I want to show me mixing this with my hand but I'm going to show you guys because this is the process, right? 
And when I get my big, big, big stand mixer that I want, and when I invest in that to like make everything at a time, it doesn't make everything at a time, but like faster pro process and it's way easier. And I'm not putting as much on my stand mixer that I have now. Y'all gonna see that mixer in every episode. I'm telling you right now, like you're gonna be like, okay, can I like, okay, like that, but that's my process that's my progress that's my growth right so i'm just going to show you guys that and don't be afraid to show your growth like everybody starts somewhere like i improved from my first episode up until now like you know but just want to share that real quick because i was just thinking about it while i was mixing up my buttercream but now I'm done I have a nice thick consistency of buttercream and now I'm going to add my last few ingredients to make my buttercream Ooh, 10 Oreos is a lot. I should have added a little bit and see how I liked it. Because I feel like it's going to be chocolatey. But that's okay. It's a vanilla cake, so maybe this will balance it out, you know? And this also gives Halloween, so I'm not going to complain about it. This is how our buttercream is looking real good real good all right so next we have some black licorice these big old chunks of licorice and now you can enjoy me struggling to cut up these pieces of licorice I have to make it about this thin so that it can fit inside this small oreo do you guys see how small this oreo is so we're going to turn these oreos into spiders using licorice And boom, we got four little spiders. All right. Now, let's hope that these legs can hold. It is finally time to ice our cake. So, we're just gonna put our buttercream in the middle of the cake and spread it. So we have our buttercream and we're going to spread Hopefully this is enough because I put some to the side in the piping bag to decorate the top a little bit. Okay, so now that our cake is fully frosted, I have my hands freshly washed and we're going to roll the cake up again, but this time without the towel, of course. So again, we're going to do, oh my God, just broke it. a tight roll. I broke the cake. Oh, I broke it. <gasps> wait, how am I breaking it like this? Wait, wait, wait. You try to roll it with the towel. Yeah, I'm supposed to roll it with the towel. Oh my gosh. Okay. This part is going to be on the inside. Okay. Roll, roll, roll. Alright, so we're just going to put this on the top like that and spread it because my little design that I was trying to do is not working now time to add our little spiders and for the spiders I found some eyes sprinkles that I had <laughs> and I'm going to stick them on the Oreos using this 
gel that I also have. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do to top off our spider web cake. Oh, 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 did you do the spider web? I think so. That is so cute. So cute. Alright, you guys, so after so many hours, I'm just kidding, but it did kind of take a long time. But I am finally done, and this is the masterpiece that we came up with to bake for our first Baketober episode. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you think, what you think, what you think of our cake roll. And tomorrow will be a taste testing, of course, on our Instagram at babyroll underscore tv so make sure you guys go check it out it will be in the link in the description if you're not watching this today it's uploaded obviously but our instagram will be in the link in the description so you can be prepared and yeah this came out so cute like the spider web you can see it on the side you can't really see it on the top because i put ice in a little bit my plan was to like make it look like a little decoration so you would have been able to see it a lot more but you see it, you get the gist, and then we have our little spiders on top. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave me a comment down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. And yeah, hope you guys make your October great. Start it off right, do something productive. And set a goal for this month, and you will reach it by Halloween. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.